Dear viewers, listeners, and readers. Assalamu alaikum. The employees of public and private sectors often fall in confusion how to know about the laws, rules, and regulations governing their respective service. In such condition they remain unaware of their duties and rights. Consequently, they fall prey to confusion and feel handicapped to ensure service delivery as required. Sometimes they lose their jobs. Departments slash organizations also suffer. In order to sensitize the employees this lecture series has been prepared. It is also aimed at creating awareness about various laws, rules, and regulations and aspects of public administration. The content of the lecture shall not be quoted in any kind of legal matter or reproduce in making legal claim etc. I hope that the series will help the employees to know various laws slash rules, understand different dynamics slash aspects of their respective employment and get them prepared for discharging their duties and responsibilities with peace of mind and up to the optimum level with efficiency and dedication in the public interest. The Lecture Series Today lecture number 10 of the series is presented to honorable viewers, listeners, and readers. Topic of the lecture is Constitutional History of Pakistan. Pakistan came into being after the division of the subcontinent on August 14, 1947. Since then three constitutions have been passed and effected in the country. Moreover, a number of provisional constitutional orders have also been enacted in the country. The British government announced June 3rd plan in 1947. It was aimed at giving independence to the people of the subcontinent. The main points of the plan were. Number 1. The provincial legislative assemblies of Punjab and Bengal were to meet in two groups, i.e., Muslim-majority districts and non-Muslim-majority districts. If any of the two decided in favor of the division of the province, then the Governor-General would appoint a boundary commission to demarcate the boundaries of the province on the basis of ascertaining the contiguous majority areas of Muslims and non-Muslims. Number 2. The Legislative Assembly of Sindh, excluding its European members, was to decide either to join the existing Constituent Assembly or the new Constituent Assembly. Number 3. In order to decide the future of the Northwest Frontier Province, a referendum was proposed. The Electoral College for the referendum was to be the same as the Electoral College for the Provincial Legislative Assembly in 1946. Number 4. Balochistan was also to be given the option to express its opinion on the issue. Number 5. If Bengal decided in favor of partition, a referendum was to be held in the Silhet district of Assam to decide whether it would continue as a part of Assam, or be merged with the new province of East Bengal. In July 1947, the British Parliament passed India Independence Act 1947. There are different provisions of the Act. According to one provision the subcontinent was to be divided into two fully sovereign dominions of Pakistan and India and that the newly formed dominions can form their own government. Consequently, Pakistan emerged on the globe of the world as an independent country. The first important task of newly established country was to legislate its own constitution. Government of India Act 1935 was adopted, with certain amendments, as an interim constitution. The Constituent Assembly of Pakistan began its work on framing the constitution of the country. On March 12, 1949, the Assembly passed Objectives Resolution. It was landmark document in the constitutional history of Pakistan. It was made base of the future constitution of the country. It provided that sovereignty of the entire universe belongs to Allah alone. Authority should be delegated to the state through its people under the rules set by Allah. Constitution of Pakistan should be framed by the Constituent Assembly. There were also other provisions of the Objectives Resolution. After nine years of independence, first constitution was enforced in 1956. It was time when Pakistan received its own indigenous constitution passed by the Constituent Assembly. The Objectives Resolution was incorporated as preamble of the constitution. The constitution changed the status of country from dominion to republic. It contained 234 articles and six schedules. It created Federation of Pakistan with parliamentary form of government. In October 1958, 
martial law was imposed in the country and constitution of 1956 stood abrogated. In 1962 new constitution was effected in the country. It consisted of 12 parts, 3 schedules, and 250 articles. The Objectives Resolution was included as preamble in the new constitution. It created federation with presidential form of government. Pakistan was declared as Islamic Republic of Pakistan. The country received third constitution in 1973. It contains 280 articles, 12 parts, and 6 schedules. The constitution introduced federation with parliamentary form of government. The country was called Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Islam was declared as state religion of the country. Up to May, 2019 26 amendments have been passed to the Constitution of 1973. Along with other amendments, 18th Amendment is also important. It was passed in 2010. It devolved the powers from the federal government to the provincial governments. 25th Amendment was passed in 2018. According to the amendment, Federally Administered Tribal Areas, FATA, was merged in the province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 